Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Grilled Pineapple Ice Cream. Well today I wanna to share with you guys a really fun summertime treat. We're talking about grilled pineapple ice cream. And it's a no churn ice cream, so you don't need a bunch of specialized equipment to do this. And beyond that, the presentation is really fun. It's a great party trick. Let's dive right into it. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna take the top off the pineapple and we're gonna get the core out of here. You're gonna need one of these cool little tools uh, that slices and spiralizes the center to pull all of the flesh out uh, because we're actually going to make ice cream out of the inside and then pour it back in for presentation so it can freeze inside the pineapple. And because of that, every time I do this, I try to make sure I can get it as centered as possible. So I want this to try and be even, but honestly, when you start twisting, a lot of times it's easy to get uh, headed in a certain direction and you'll be fine. It's not gonna be a big deal. You just might get a little bit closer to the sides. So once you feel like you're not going down any further, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all that up out. So then the core, I'm just gonna cut at an angle to get rid of this. And now you've just got the empty shell of the pineapple that we're going to use to pour that ice cream filling back inside of. So this is all one big long spiral right now. We're just gonna slice down the side to cut it into rings. Get all of these laid out into a single layer. And we're gonna hit them with just a little bit of seasoning before we take them to the grill. Now we're gonna hit this pineapple with just a little bit of seasoning. We're, we're going light, we don't want a lot of it because we don't want it to control all the flavor. We're using the, the jerk seasoning from Plowboys. It's gonna give you all those great Caribbean flavors that remind you of jerk seasoning on jerk chicken, all of that goodness. And pineapple fits in great with those seasonings. Now, first thing we want to do is get the grill fired up. And the grill that we're using today is the Yoder Smokers Flat Top Adjustable Charcoal Grill. Now, we don't need a lot of charcoal for what we're doing. We're just grilling off a little bit of pineapple. So I'm going to fill about half of a chimney full of charcoal, and we'll get that going and get that hot. We've got some charcoal lit right behind it. You guys can see next to it from a previous cook. So we'll just add this on top when we're ready to uh, start grilling. Charcoal's hot, so we're gonna dump that out all on a line here. But charcoal's pretty high right now, so we should be able to get some nice color on our pineapple rings really quick. There we go. Get a little char on there. Yeah, these are looking good. All right, we're getting some good color on both sides now, so we're gonna take these right off the grill and they're gonna go into the blender. So next we're gonna add to our pineapple 10 tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. And then on top of that, one teaspoon of vanilla paste. And that is it for now. So let's blend this until it's smooth. Smells delicious. So that's fully pureed now. We just wanna chill this down a little bit because there's one more step in this. This is ice cream, no churn ice cream, cheater ice cream. And that's to add whipped cream to this. And that's what's gonna give it kind of a lighter and more airy structure like you would with a mousse. But that cream's gonna be cold and we want it to stay cold. So we're gonna chill this down in the freezer here for the next like five or 10 minutes. So while that cools down, we're gonna make our whipped cream. We're gonna put about one cup of heavy whipping cream into the frother here. You can do this by hand, the whisk in a bowl, but it's gonna take longer and you're gonna work out a lot harder. So we'll just start this on low and then crank it all the way up. So now we've got this whipped cream. It's not quite to like stiff peaks, but it's thick enough that it's going to help uh, build some structure, add some airiness to the ice cream. All right, so the pineapple mixture is chilled down. 
We're going to transfer this over to a mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add about half of that whipped cream here, and we're going to start folding this in. So just very gently rolling the spatula around. We're not whisking um, anything too vigorous, and we risk losing all of that fluffiness that the whipped cream brings. And there's no doubt that you're going to lose some of that as you fold this in here. But the whole idea is just to give the base a little bit more lift, a little bit more fluff. In the end, that's what will translate to that creamy ice cream texture. Get the rest of this whipped cream in here. And we're gonna fold that in as well. And we're folding until basically we don't see any more streaks. No streaks of whipped cream left. Should all be the same color. All right, we're there. Now this brings us back to our pineapple. We're gonna fill it up with our grilled pineapple ice cream. If we're lucky, it goes right up to the top. Perfect. Next, we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and you're gonna stick it in the freezer for at least four hours or overnight. So here's the one that I put in the freezer last night. This has been sitting out at room temperature for about 20 minutes now to make it a little bit easier to slice into. And I'll go ahead and show you how we're gonna do the presentation on this thing. So we'll start by taking this edge off. And then you're gonna just cut this into slices. And then each individual slice we're gonna cut into quarters. And now you've got this great little pineapple ice cream snack. Isn't that awesome for parties? And it tastes great too. Oh man. It's such a great texture. And it really just melts in your mouth. The creaminess of the whipped cream, that structure that it adds. I mean, I'm tasting the grill a little bit for sure. We've got some flex of that char in there that comes through. Mm, vanilla, a little bit of that vanilla too. It's all in there. And the great part is if you go a little too far, you just get a little extra pineapple. That's really fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.